Hello and welcome to Billy's Craft Room. In today's film I'll be showing you how to make rock and roll flowers using zig markers. For this project you will need smooth white card and your favourite colours in the following pens. The Brushables, Wink of Stella and Calligraphy Markers. For this first flower, you need to hold your pen like this. Place the nib onto the paper and then roll the nib across. Rock and roll. I'm leaving a small gap in between the petals and in the centre. This creates a flower with an open centre which you can go back in and decorate later, either with a different colour or possibly with a gem. For the next flower, I'm going to hold the pen in the same way, place it onto the paper and roll. Rock and roll the nib. This time I'm allowing the nib to touch the previous petal and also to meet in the centre. When you create the petals in this way, your flower will have a closed or dark centre. For this next flower, I'm holding the pen in a more traditional way. Still keeping the point of the pen towards the centre of the flower, press down and lift. Because the nibs are flexible, you get a lovely tear shaped petal. If you keep the point of the pen towards the centre, then the outer edges of your petal will be rounded. I'm letting the petals touch each other and also meet in the center. This gives a flower with a closed center as before. For a flower with an open center, press and lift for each petal, but this time leave a small gap in between the petals and leave a gap in the center. Once again, this gives you the option of using a different coloured pen in the centre of your flower. For this next flower, I'm going to be using the calligraphy marker and the broader of the two nibs. Place the nib onto the card and pull the pen around. This edge is staying reasonably still, but the outer edge is moving in a curve. I'm leaving a small gap in the centre for an open flower. You can vary the size of the petals depending on how far you twist the pen around. You want to keep the entire width of the nib in contact with the card to create the perfect petal shape. There you have it, just a few designs from Rock and Roll Flowers using Zig Pens. I'm going to be using the Wink of Stella pen now to add some highlights to the flowers. Make sure your base flower has completely dried before you move on to this stage. I'm going to go around the open centre and then just do some long pen strokes along the petal. These Wink of Stella pens contain a base colour but they're shot through with glitter. It's quite a subtle effect but in real life they really catch the light and make for a really pretty effect. I'm 
I'm still going to highlight the centre of this flower, but this time I'm using a zigzag effect. I'm going to do the same on the outer edge of the petal as well. I'm going to add some distressing to the calligraphy flower now using a zig writer. It looks a bit too neat as it is, doesn't it? Simply go around each of the petals with a wavy line. Don't try and be too neat about it. Do try and leave a little bit of white between the petals if you can for highlight. and a little bit in the centre there. Now for some depth and contrast, I'm going to go in with a darker colour in the Wink of Stella pens. Just a short starburst like pen stroke out from the centre gives a lot of dimension. There we go. That's the flower so far. I hope you stay with me because I've saved the best till last. As well as their flexible nibs, one of the other great features of these brushable pens is that they're blendable. You can actually blend the colours together on the pens themselves. Take your two favourite colours of brushables, you'll need one darker than the other. Now apply the darker coloured ink to the nib of the lighter coloured one. Because the rock and roll technique means you're going to roll the nib around, you need to apply the darker colour all the way around the nib. Put the top back on this pen. And we're ready to go. Holding the pen like this, press onto the paper, rock and roll, rock and roll flowers. I'm leaving a small gap between each of the petals and in the centre as well. But you could do a closed centred flower with this technique as well. Here's a closer look at those finished flowers. It's worth taking the time to practice until you get a flower shape that you like, but by blending the colours on the pens, you get a really beautiful effect. Hope you give these techniques a try. They're really quick and simple. Watch this space as I've got some more techniques in the rock and roll line coming soon. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, do leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. For more inspiration, please visit the blog on www.billyscraftroom.co.uk.